friends, how are ya? Welcome back to my channel for another vlog. I was just getting ready for the day and was like, I should probably tell them hi. This is gonna be a weekend vlog, for sure Friday, Saturday, maybe a little bit of Sunday. Tomorrow I'm excited because the coffee shop that I love that I did the photo shoot for is having their official grand opening and it's like an all day thing. And so I basically blocked out my whole day tomorrow to be at that. And today I think I wanna get my nails fixed, redone. I have some meetings later and I'm actually very relieved that I don't have much on the calendar this weekend. It's a, it's a nice change of pace to be like, mm, things are kind of up in the air. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do. I don't know if you're like me, when I have too much planned out, I sometimes get stressed about it. And it's just kind of nice to be spontaneous and just exist sometimes. So that's what this weekend is. I'm about to put on some real clothes, dry my hair, take Max out and get today started. And I'm glad you're here. Real quick, I've been looking forward to having breakfast this morning all week because I have something new to try with y'all that I've been waiting to test on camera. Okay, first, y'all know I love Magic Spoon. I talk about them all the time. I am partnering with them on today's vlog because they have a really exciting limited edition flavor. I always get the variety pack and I did get a new variety pack that has two new flavors I've never tried. Maybe we could try that a little bit later in this vlog, but for a limited time, they have cereal bars cereal bars so I can like put magic spoon in my purse and take it along with me. I do still have a code. I'm going to have it in the link down below, but it's Mikkel J and that's going to get you $5 off. Highly recommend doing the variety pack to like try multiple flavors if you haven't already, but we are going to try these on camera. These have 10 grams of protein, one gram of sugar, and six grams of fiber. That's 21% of your daily fiber and just in a, in a cereal bar. Like, what? That's so fun. The flavors are cookies and cream and cocoa peanut butter. And these, since they're limited edition, they're basically just till supplies last. I hope they're still around by the time this video comes out because I think it's so much fun. Oh my gosh. Look how cute it is. Even the packaging's cute. We know I'm a sucker for good packaging. There's real chocolate chips in it. Look at those. Oh my gosh. How did they do this? Okay. Oh. <laughs> Wait, that's so good. <laughs> It has like a dessert feel, like somewhere between a cereal bar and a Rice Krispie treat. How did they do this? How did they kept it crunchy? I'm not kidding. I kind of want to order more of these for myself before they go away. But I'm really excited to share with y'all. I'll be so excited to work with Magic Spoon. So they're one of they're one of the best brands to work with. I'm gonna have that link and that code and everything in the description down below. Best of luck to you. I hope they're still around by the time you watch this video, so that you can try them. And if you do try them, let me know what your thoughts are. Tag me in a Facebook group post or something so I can see. Mmm. Okay. Let's get this day started. This might be kind of gross and sad to share, but last night I went to Bible study and I got home and this sweet little boy, I think he's been having a little bit of a tummy ache. He had thrown up all over this quilt, which is probably like one of the nicest things I own. And if you guys know me, you know that like sickness is one of my biggest fears. <laughs> oh. But it is different when it's like your pet. I don't know, I was like more concerned about him than I was the mess. But I like covered it in like spot treatment and I put it in the washing machine, which I don't know if you're supposed to do, in the dryer. And it is so wrinkly because it was so big for the dryer. I've tried to fluff it multiple times. I'm gonna try making the bed completely and we'll see how this looks, but. This is dirty. Let's see Maxi. let's see how it looks. Okay, we make it tight. We make it tight. Oh, sorry. Don't be alarmed. Oh, that's not that bad. I think it's gonna be okay. I think you're gonna be okay too. He then ate after that, which is a good sign. I think I'm going to try a new nail place today because it is way closer than the place I've been going. The place I've been going is super far away, kind of hole in the wall, but like the locals <laughs> of Austin know that it's the place to go. So I got that tip, but you know, it's 20 minutes. So that's like 40 minutes round trip. And now that I've been doing dip, I only really go once a month, but I still want to see how this closer place does dip. Do a little treat yourself. Let's go. Last time I got my nails done, I did a poll if I should do neutral or black and neutral one. And I'm gonna just feel how I'm feeling when I'm in there and might go super edgy and get black nails. We're gonna find out right now. She did it. It's more of like a kind of graphite color. I like it, except for I am wearing all black today as an outfit and I'm like, maybe it's a little much. It almost has like a purple undertone. He did a great job. The only thing is dip can sometimes get so thick. I think that's just kind of part of it, but I don't like it when it like is noticeably thick. But at least it lasts a long time. I do have a little uh, car chat question for y'all. I would just love some advice in case anybody feels the same way. I was reflecting 
well, getting my nails done, kind of about just stress. And I kind of mentioned it this morning that I feel the best whenever I don't have plans on the calendar. I used to love to look at the future and plan things and have goals and dreams and like literally have things on the calendar, but now I'm the complete opposite. I feel incapable of thinking past today. Um, so thinking towards the future and like having to plan things really, really stresses me out, but that's like part of life. And I was with my parents this last weekend and talking about my sister's weddings coming up. And there's like four out of five weekends in a row that I'm gonna have to be somewhere for some sort of wedding related event. And I have my trip coming up, my solo trip, and just like lots of things that I have to like think through and plan and the logistics of who's gonna take care of Max, what am I gonna film during those days? All things like that just super overwhelm me and stress me out. And like my sweet mom texted me this morning being like, hey, I'm gonna be in Austin in this day, like in April. Would you want to come with us to this thing and go to dinner? And I was like, can you ask me again when we're closer? Because I just, I, I feel like I, I'm incapable of thinking that far in advance. So I just wanted to know if anybody has any tips for this. This is like a whole new almost persona for me. I was the complete opposite. I don't know if it has to do with just like a, I don't want to say trauma response because I don't know if I would classify the last six months of my life as traumatic as much as it is just like stressful. I would just love to know if this happens to anybody else and what you do to cope because the world does not work spontaneously. The world requires plans. My brain is just not computing. It just does not feel compatible and it's been a it's been a weird stress trigger. I will look forward to reading y'all's comments. <laughs> Thank you in advance to anyone that has anything to say on the matter. Who is she? <laughs> I feel kind of sassy and I kind of like it. Okay, I'm gonna go home. It's a little bit later. Hi from my uh, desk table. Guys, this table has been my favorite thing. Being able to have a spot where I can work and face. If I sit right here, I can see my whole apartment. I can see the living area, the kitchen, a little bit into the bedroom, bathroom, and then outside. And I don't know if anybody else is as like spatially aware as me, but I really have to be facing things when I'm working. Like I can't face a wall. I mean, it could. I just much prefer this. So it's been really nice. But all of that to say, wrapping up a few emails, I have a 3 p.m. meeting. And then after that, it's officially the weekend. Fridays, Fridays are so good. That's why I love vlogging on Fridays because it's like the excitement for the weekend, you know, like tasks are coming to an end. Let's wrap up this work day. It's the weekend. Oh, you, oh. <laughs> you always get right in my mouth. It's the weekend. You think you oh. Oh yeah. <laughs> I got a couple packages and one of them is stuff I bought on Abercrombie, not with the intent to keep it all. So I thought we could just do a little mail time and then also a little try on game of keep versus return. Spent, where'd I put my scissors? Where'd I put those scissors, Mixie? What I've done in the past is wait for y'all to comment about which things you think are worth keeping versus returning. And then I keep the things we all agree on and return the rest. But I also got a little gift. I'm really excited to open it. This is from the Solo. I have a pair of their mules from like maybe three years ago and they're really good. Two pairs. Okay, let's see. I can already smell the leather. Ooh, ooh, okay. Fancy in a bag. Sandals. These are so cute. I love these. I actually left my favorite pair of sandals in LA. This is what happens when you pack up your house in like a couple days is you forget things, especially if you're not packing up the whole house, but I'm very excited to have new sandals. Those are so cute. Look at these. Oh my gosh. They're like real wood. They smell so good. I'm so excited about these. I'll link these down below. Thanks for the gift, Miss Hello. That's so sweet. To the stuff I bought myself. I'm gonna show you these things one at a time and then we will try them on together. Okay, we're gonna try to rapid fire this. Let's start with this shirt, which is very similar to my favorite shirt that I have in black, but slightly different. I ripped that one. So I wanna try it in white. Let's see how it fits. Okay, weird. This is a small, just like my similar one in black, but the bodice of this one is way looser. The other one is like this. Should I size down? I am glad that I can pretty much wear a normal bra with this and it's not showing through the white and this fits me well. I think I would have to size down. Or am I just used to the other one fitting tight and this looks normal if you didn't have the other one? Hmm. I don't really know why I got this. Oh, it's very soft on the inside. It's it's kind of it's kind of basic. It's kind of simple, but it, it's like a cinched cropped black sweatshirt. 
but it is their soft collection, which it is very soft. So I don't know if it's worth keeping. It's kind of pricey. Let's try it on. My toxic trait is I want to keep things just because they're comfy. This is so comfy and like it does look good with jeans and could be loungewear and athleisure wear, but I have so many just plain things like this that it doesn't really add anything to my wardrobe. I would probably wear it, but I would be wearing it over other similar things. I do like how it cinches because it crops. I think it's flattering. I don't have any that do that. Thoughts? I figured we could try these next two things on together. This is a bodysuit, but it's a short sleeve bodysuit. And I love this little, it's not really boning, but it has like almost faux boning inside of it. The color I thought was really pretty. And I have low expectations for these, but they came out with curve love shorts. So I got the dad short, cause look at this inseam. That looks promising, right? It doesn't look like it would be booty at all, but it is pretty distressed in the front. I just like longer shorts. So it might just not be my vibe. It might end up being too short, but I got a 25 in the curvy. So let's try those on together. Okay, this bodysuit, I love. I feel like this is exactly what I'm looking for for spring. Something that is a little more flirty, feminine, but also kind of a little bit classy, classic. And then this detail that I mentioned, I love. The shorts, I think are a no-go. Let me move you down. They fit well. And then I do love the length in the back. I love the rise. They fit my waist. Just this, this, distressing is a little much and then i feel like it's a little loose right here to where if i'm like sitting down it's just gonna kind of bunch funny in there but i i am so glad that they have shorts that fit and that are like a little bit more modest which is my speed but realistically i just feel like i would not wear them very often thoughts and i'm excited because they came out with moderate bikinis i tried on some of their bikinis last year and they were too much they were so much the cut was tiny um these still look not that moderate that's the back but we're gonna try it on and then i think that there's something special about this also oh yeah the curve love top so this is just like slightly larger cup sizes i think but i got a small in the curve love so it should hopefully be a little bit better of a fit the other ones were too small of cups for me Let's see how that fits. I feel like the swimsuit is an improvement from last year, but it's, I thought this I thought this was gonna be high-waisted. I'm a high-waisted girl and these are low-waisted, but they are more coverage on the back. I have my underwear on and like rolled them underneath, so it's a little bit bunchy. This, finally, great coverage, but this is super thin, so there's like almost no padding at all. So it does read as like a little bit more modest, which I appreciate, but I almost would want a little more padding or support. So I think this is a return, huge improvement from last year, still room to go. I feel like it's a great option for people that, I wonder if they have these in high rise. I was gonna say, if you're a low waisted bikini girl, this is, this is great, I'm just not. It's fun to sprinkle into a vlog. I'll be checking y'all's comments as to what I should keep, <laughs> what I should return. And Max is chewing his bully stick on the quilt I just washed. Bully stick smells so bad. Thank you, bud. I love you so much, too much to where I let you do things like this. It's kind of gross. So I have laundry in and I've changed into my comfy clothes for the night, but I wanted to try on my new shoes. So this is the vibe we're going with right now. These are so cute. Probably not with a sports bra and sweatpants but this is where we've ended up on a Friday night. Sorry, I'm sure that the sound of the washer is quite annoying. I normally remember to do that after I finish filming for the day, but I did something kind of life-changing that I've never done before. Subtly life-changing. I still want, it's only, it's, I don't think it's even six. So I still want to kind of remain open and available in case any plans should pop up because I'm not opposed to doing anything tonight. But I also felt really gross and was just tired of wearing jeans. So I took a really quick body shower, still have on my makeup and my hair, and I feel so much better. Like I was just feeling icky and yucky and now I feel clean and happy and content and like ready for anything, ready to stay in all night, ready to, if someone spontaneously asked me to do something, throw it back on my outfit. And I'm going to start doing this a lot more often. I wonder if this is what it feels like to be a guy, to just be able to like rinse off whenever and not have to think about hair and makeup. With that being said, I have laundry. I think I'm going to start editing this vlog just to be ahead for the weekend so that I can hang out a little bit more and be open to whatever the night might bring. So I will see you guys tomorrow for the grand opening party at Noble Joe's. It's gonna be fun, I'm excited. Hello, Ramona, I can't
can't shake the simplest feeling I ended up staying in all night last night and honestly it was great <laughs> I did all my laundry I got like two hours of editing done I watched the love is blind reunion oh my gosh that was a mess can we talk about how that was a mess oh i'm so glad that deep deep knew she deserved better that's all i gotta say to that i am really looking forward to today i think a lot of people that i kind of know from the church i've been going to is are gonna be here and it's just gonna be a big group of kind of everybody that i've met so far in austin are all Austin's such a small city everybody's interconnected in one way or another which is weird but also great in terms of i think building community here is easier than a normal city because it is just very small and very interconnected like your neighbors know their co-workers that know the people that go to your church and they're all friends and you're all like i know you from my apartment i know you from church how are, how are y'all friends and they're like we're co-workers i don't know you get you get what i'm saying it's just cool it's cool so i think that it's gonna be a fun event today kind of slept in just gonna leisurely get ready this morning pick things up and feel ready for the day whatever it might bring um i just got out of the shower and was doing my morning skincare and i have to share this here let me go in better lighting so that you can see i filmed a get ready with me video literally let's see two days ago and my chin had so many spots on it and i said in that video i think it's out by now but i was like i think that this is hormonal for my birth control and just in two days i remembered i had vitamin c that i never use this is a vitamin c serum and i've been applying it to my skin Look at that difference in two days. I don't know if that's coincidental or if there's an actual correlation there, but that's the only thing I've changed up in the last two days. Okay, I gotta put on clothes. I'm wearing a towel, but I feel like this angle makes me just look like I'm wearing nothing. But I'm gonna have to research vitamin C more because I know very little about it, except for it does kind of help lighten spots. Just wanted to share. <laughs> I feel like I lucked into that. <laughs> officially gotten ready and there is gonna be food today but i don't think i can eat any of it i think it's all like sandwiches and crips and things like that so i want to taste test the two new cereal flavors and i'm going to tell you which one i like better i have not tried either of these yet the ones that i always get my two favorite that are like always around fruity's my number one blueberries my number two which is funny because i consider myself like a chocolate girl I would much rather have a chocolatey or caramel dessert than a fruity dessert, but these are just so good. So I always get those two, but the new ones, honey graham and oatmeal cookie. I feel like I'm gonna like oatmeal cookie most, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna jump to conclusions before I try them both. Ooh, oh, it does smell a lot like graham crackers. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised. Okay, honey graham, let's give it a taste. That has so much more flavor than I was expecting. I was expecting it to be subtle. Oh my gosh, that's really good. Uh-oh, you're gonna have tougher competition than I thought. Oh, there's like a cinnamon kind of smell to this. Which one's gonna win? It's so different. You know what? I think I like the Graham one most. This one's great too, but the Graham one, I love honey, obviously. Looking at my sweet like honey poster right now. I just love tasting things. What is it called if your hobby is tasting things? Not necessarily a foodie, but I just wanna have as many tastes in my mouth as I can before I die. <sighs> Nevertheless, thank you Magic Spoon for a great protein filled breakfast. I am going to brush my teeth after this and head on over to the grand opening. So let's go. Cause we're like alpha and omega. Even if we go all out and break us down. Yeah, we can work it out. Cause we're like alpha and omega. Even if we go all out and break us down. Yeah, we can work it out. It is later in the day. I'm here with my friend Bree. Hi guys! Bree also has a channel. I I'm gonna do. I'm gonna link her channel down below if you wanna go follow her. Please do. And we are having a pho night. A pho night. Yes. Bree's never had pho. I literally, you guys, this is my first time having pho. I cannot oh. believe I've never had it. And first time at the restaurant we're trying. Oh my gosh, yeah. Or I'm trying, it's my first time. We might watch a movie, I don't know, TBD. Yeah. We were just talking about how this is the season of spontaneity and how it's so much more fun to just go with the flow than to like have something planned out. Yes. That is our night. I mm -hmm. know, I'm so excited. I'm We've so been so having some good, good deep talks, good conversations. I told Bree that I, I never vlog around friends because I don't want to like, 
like put them on the spot, you know, because people yes. are just like uncomfortable with it. But the fact that she have a channel, I know, I don't feel uncomfortable Talking being like the camera is like normal. <laughs> yeah. It's also sweet because I think, I mean both having channels it's like there's an element of like when we're talking to a camera mm -hmm. we're talking to people that we care about we're talking to friends we're talking yeah. not just to like something abstract it's like knowing that we're talking to our friends online is just like so special that there's actual people behind the screen yes mm -hmm. it's like it feels so natural because i always feel like i'm just talking to a friend i love that i'm like trying to unwrap so unwrap with one hand i'm just gonna yeah. i'm gonna, I'm gonna like cut you're, you're and so i'm gonna right. commit yeah we are continuing this vlog to Sunday a little bit. I have church and then lunch with some new girls I've met through Bible study after church. And I was not, I had just washed and styled my hair, but the event yesterday, oh my gosh, I didn't even talk about the event. I ended up basically volunteering and helping like them run their raffle and stuff, which was a lot of fun. But there was a barbecue food truck there that has a smoker. And so I was standing in like direct smoke for six hours and my hair had never smelled more smoky. So at midnight last night, I was like, I'm gonna have to wash it. I tried to sleep in braids. It was, it was a bad move. So we're gonna probably get creative with some sort of updo today. <laughs> but I uh, wanted to say hello, good morning. And I, I'm excited to spend one more day with you this weekend on the vlog. I'm gonna figure this out. She will be back. She will be better. <laughs> Here's the OOTD that we have ended up with. I tried putting two curls in my hair, but it was still wet. So we're just going with a, we're going with this. <laughs> but this is the bodysuit from yesterday or the day before. This is my for sure, for sure keep. And I'm gonna wait for the rest of y'all's opinion. These are the Everlane Arc jeans. I don't think they carry them anymore. If they do, I'll link them down below. And then these are from Abel and We'll see. It's like just now getting warm enough to where I don't have to wear boots or tinnies. So it's fun to switch it up, but I also feel like I kind of forgot how to walk in sandal heels. <laughs> from church and lunch and I have a full editing evening planned, but at church it was cool. They're doing a whole series on mental health and today they actually had a panel of, they had like a professor of psychology at UT come in and a current therapist and just different people on this panel to talk about mental health because they were addressing the fact that a lot of times in churches, churches can disregard mental health because they can almost make it seem like seeking help for that is not having faith in God. And they're like, we need to get rid of the stigma because we think everybody should um, pursue, you know, mental health and seek out help when they need it and go to therapy and go to counseling. And I was really appreciative of them being intentional about that because that is a weird kind of toxic thing that can sometimes happen in churches and in Christianity in general. So for them to break down those walls and barriers and be like, it is good to seek out help for this was cool. And I appreciate that a lot. Speaking of appreciating, appreciate y'all for spending this weekend with me. Also appreciate Magic Spoon so much for partnering with me on this video. I always have everything down in the description below, but yet again, my code is J, which will get you $5 off your order at the link in the description. And I love getting to hang with y'all. So thanks for spending another weekend with me. We have fun stuff coming up in the near future. Birthday trip soon, gonna be vlogging that. <laughs> so I will see you guys in a video very soon. Bye. So give me a sign. Give me a sign, oh, give me a sign, baby, give me a sign, just give me one more, talking to you, here we go again, staying up all night to see if you've been texting me, where do we go from here, I wanna go all in.